Hello, this is Brother Ellis Stanley Sr., and welcome to the Church of Christ Bridgeport Midday Prayer Session in Devo. We are excited uh, that you have taken the time to join us in our fellowship together as we read from God's Word. It is our prayer that it will help you in your daily prayer time with God. So at this time, let us be joyful in his presence and go to him in prayer after our reading. Today's title will be Darkness and Light. And the scripture is taken from 1 Peter 2, 4 through 12. 1 Peter 2, 4 through 12. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people from God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellence of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And you can finish reading those passages to 12. I just read uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Okay, the concept of darkness and light is not unfamiliar to Scripture. We know that as we go into our midday thought, we have been taught, uh, anybody that's a Bible student has been taught the concept between darkness and light. Okay. And we understand what that means. God is light, and without him, we live in darkness. So that's not something that will ever be debated um, so one thing we, we understand also that Christians, we don't belong here. Uh, this is not what God had in mind for us. So we have a royal priesthood. We're a holy nation. We are people of God's own possession, and we need to feel that way. And also we need to think that way. We need to know that we are private stock. We have been sanctified, and we have been justified. And we must know who we are. And as we know who we are, we must realize that as light bearers, we shine in a world full of darkness. And there, again, is one more thing that makes us special. So think about that today. Today we are in Bridgeport, are fasting. Uh, this is our Monday. Uh, fastings for the month, and think about that today, how special you are. As you get closer to God in your prayer and your fasting, just think about that today. And be blessed knowing that you are a royal priesthood. You are separated. You are justified and sanctified. And love that. Love being in the family of God. Amen? Praise and blessings. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for all that you have done for us and you continue to do it. It is special to know that we can break up our day and just ponder on some passages that mean so much to us because they come from you. It excites us. It brings us out of our anxiety. It helps us when we're in times of distress. And, Father, it just makes us feel good. It makes us feel like we have a purpose in life. It makes us feel like we are special. And we are. We are. When we put on Christ in, in baptism, we became members of your family and servants in your kingdom. It can't get any better than that, Lord. It really can't. We thank you for your endurance. And, Father God, we thank you for raising your son from the dead. And we thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit uh, that is a seal of our faith and our salvation. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray you sing. Amen. Thank you for dialing into our midday prayer session. It was great having you along. If you have a prayer request that you would like us to give attention to in our midday time together, just simply leave us a voice message after the tone, stating your name and your prayer request when we make it known to God in prayer. Give us a call. Praise and blessings.